Hey guys, in case you haven't heard, Next just came out with a new minor update with some major improvements. It's called Next 13.2. There are so many major updates, it almost feels like this is Next 14. It feels like it's a major release. That's how many major changes have been added to Next 13.2. One of those major changes we're going to talk about today is statically typed links. Basically how this works is it helps to stop bugs, you can kind of think of statically typed links like the TypeScript of href links. With statically typed links, it will stop typo related bugs with your href links. So here's the example that they give. Say you have a link to an about page, but maybe you slip up and accidentally spell it a boot because you're Canadian living in Justin Trudeau's communist Canada. Well, if that's the case, no worries. I mean about the misspelled link. I can't do anything thing about Justin Trudeau being the Prime Minister of Canada. Sorry, Canadians. With statically typed links, it will catch this error. Next is able to keep track of all your links, and it can know that there is not a link spelled about. It should be spelled about. And so let's go ahead and get into some code, and I'll show you exactly how this works. The first thing you need to do is open up this next.config.js file, where it says experimental within the next config app dir needs to be true. So the app directory has to be true. The next thing that has to be true is typed routes. This also has to be true. So you'll need to add that key and value to the experimental object. Again, that is in the next.config.js file. Once you do that, next will automatically generate a link definition in next types that contains information about all existing routes in your application which TypeScript can then use to provide feedback in your editor about invalid links. So now anytime you create a link using the link component in the next slash link package, it will automatically check for typos in your href links. Let's try it out. So if you open your app directory, this is a new project. You can open any page. At the top here, I'm going to import link from next slash link. I'll go ahead and delete everything on this page that's here by default. And just so this will work, I'll create a couple links. The way you can do that in the new app directory is just you can use folder routing. So I'll create maybe an about page, put a page dot tsx file in there. I'll just go ahead and copy this function here, paste that there, call this about. I'll change this to a div. Actually, I'll just delete all of this and put an h1 tag and just say about. And I'll copy this whole directory, I'll just say contact. And in this page, I'll change the word to contact. All right, and now we have some links to work with. Back in the root page.tsx file, I'll go ahead and create some links. So the first one, I'll say href slash about. Out. And for the next one, I'll say href slash contact. And now let's, you'll notice there's no errors there. Now let's try to misspell this and see if it gives us an error. I'm going to leave out the U. All right. And you'll notice it does not work right away. To find out the reason why in the documentation, you can click this how does it work button. You need to run either next dev or next build in order for next to generate its hidden dot D dot TS file, which contains all of the routes. So if you notice that the checker doesn't work right away, the typo checker, no worries. Just open up a terminal, say npm run dev, and this should work now. And there you go. As you can see, once I ran npm run dev, now there's an error over this href button. So now it just knows if this is typed correctly or not. So let's try changing it to about. It works. Let's leave out the A in contact, and it gives you an error. And then if you type it correctly, it goes away. So it's that simple. It is really, really cool. With statically typed links turned on, you should never have a mistyped href again. If you're using the link from next slash link, your href links will always be correct. I'm going to be coming out with more next 13.2 feature update videos soon. So if you're interested in learning more about next 13.2, 
2 updates. Make sure to subscribe, hit the bell icon to be notified when those videos come out. Like the video if you'd like to see more videos like this. Let me know in the comments below, do you like the new statically typed links? And what do you think about the new 13.2 updates? I personally love the updates. I almost wish they had all of the features from 13.2 in the original 13 release. It would have made the transition to 13 less confusing. One big example is the new API route handler system, which I just made a video about that. It should pop up on the screen. You can watch that to learn how the new app directory works with API routes using something called API route handlers that came out in version 13.2. If you'd like to see how that works, click the video on the screen titled Next 13 API Route Handlers. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.